Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike. So this is um, part two, take two of this video because the first one I just, it was bad. So exciting day today because I got my CBCS submissions back from Rhode Island Comic Con. Now I originally sent these out to um, give you something to look at. While you're, uh, we'll look at Eddie. Um, I sent these out on the 8th of November. That's when I dropped them off. I uh, got my first email from them on the 18th of November saying that they received them. Um, January 28th, they went into grading. February 2nd, they were graded. And February 15th, which is today, they arrived in my house. So, move over, Ed. You're going to have to move. And we'll get on to this. So, let's... uh. The, um, if you guys haven't done anything with CBCS, they uh, pack. I, I have seven books, so I'm assuming there's going to be like four in here, maybe three, and then four in the other. Um, they pack them in these little white boxes. They bubble wrap the heck out of them, and then they put it in a big box. So very securely shipped. Very happy with that. So let's get on with this here. All right, cool. Wow. I do know the grades of these already because they sent an email and they didn't use an attachment once i opened the email the grades all appeared so i had no choice but to uh to check it out but here's my first one this is a signature series signature verified and uh we'll go with that right there so this is avengers number 92 and it is autographed here by if you can see right there on the rainbow mr neil adams so that is pretty cool. This is an 8.0 copy. So the label is really cool on here. Um, it comes out yellow because it is uh, signature authentic. Signature verified, I believe, comes out in red labels. And um, it says on here, Marvel um, 9, 1971 is when this book came out. So not bad for an 8.0. It's older than me by 14 months. And uh, this is Neil Adams cover, and it says signed up here by Neil Adams on 11-8-2015 Rhode Island Comic Con. So really cool. It's not bad for the first one. Now let's maybe I'll put that one right there. I usually don't do graded books, so the glare is going to be kind of bad. I don't have a an easel biggies, so I can't just twist it. <laughs> Here's another one. Wow. All right, cool. Very happy with this one. This one looks nice. This one here is uh, Uncanny X Men 266. And it's the first appearance of Gambit, as you all know. Came back as a 7.5. And it is autographed up top here by Mr. Chris Claremont. Now, I did have access to the greater notes. And on this particular issue, it said it had a fingerprint on the back, plus the front cover has uh, a lot of dents that a pressing would have taken care of if I would have gotten it pressed and, um, you know, had a little more forethought about what artists and writers were going to be at the con. I could have done, taken care of that with my guy, James O'Brien, and uh, this thing could probably easily be a nine, easily, because of the, uh, the corners are awesome, the spine ticks, there aren't any at all i mean there's not one color breaking spine tick on here but there are a number of dents on the top that i could have taken out but the funny thing is it says it had a fingerprint on the back and claremont you know when i handed him this book he just finished his last bite of a uh, like a glazed donut <laughs> and um, took a sip of his coffee and he grabbed the book so that's that's his fingerprint on the back there i'm sure it is i'm sure it is <laughs> and then uh, my last one for the uh, signature verification, uh, authentic signatures, is, wow, this is one, probably my favorite. This one's awesome. So we got Batman number one, um, Ethan Van Shiver cover, and let's see if I can get that in there. There you go. That's a good picture right there. Ethan Van Shiver autographed 2015 with a little bat symbol that he put on there. And it says up on the label, Signed and sketched by Ethan Van Shiver on 11-8-2015, Rhode Island Comic Con. So this is fantastic. I love it. This is great. These bags that CBCS use are so clear 
Um, I think they're better than the CGC bags. And this is really cool. And, you know, the back presents really well. They even put some junk up here. What's this? First mention of Court of Owls, Professor Pig appearance. First uh, full-page Converse ad featuring Batman. So, you know, they find little things and they put it up there, I guess. So that's pretty cool. CBCS, not bad, my friends, not bad. It did take three months to get them back. Um, I don't know if that was an issue. It seemed like forever, though, because I was just, you know, you're waiting. You send these things in, and you, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait. And then finally, they're here. So I'm pretty happy. So my signatures, I got an 8.0 Neil Adams, 7.5 on uh, Chris Claremont, and a 9.6 on that Batman 1 with Ethan Van Shiver which is also sketched. So that's cool. Let's go jump into the next one here. Give me one second, guys. And all right, cool. This box is already opened. Um, Batman Eternal, number 19. This is the German variant. Look at the glare on that thing. Um, and came back rated at a 9.6. A lot of these books. This is, in case you guys don't know, this um, this one here is limited in, uh, there's only 999 of them. So I have three of them. I know Don the comic book junkie has, I think, at last count, nine of them. They're going for significant amounts of money, anywhere between... You know, I want to say now anywhere between, you know, 50 and, and $90 raw. And this is the first one that I've ever seen graded. I haven't seen one autograph. Um, I haven't seen one um, <clears throat> graded for sale on eBay. So I'm happy with this. A lot of the issues came with the bindery, binding issues on the side over here. So all three of mine have some sort of schmeg going on with the binding with a little tear it's a really shiny cover it's a cool looking um it's a fantastic cover the art done by chad harding i know um marty from comic book fanatics has uh has one of these as well at least one of these so cool batman eternal number 19 the german variant graded at 9.6 This is awesome. I'm excited for this. <clears throat> Amazing Spider-Man. There's the Jedi screaming, if you can hear him. Amazing Spider-Man number 620, graded at a 9.6. It's got MJ. It's got cesspool on there. It's got uh, Spidey. So this is uh, playing a little fun to um, Amazing Spider-Man, the annual edition of the... Um, the one with uh, you know Peter and MJ's marriage, so very cool on here. I believe this is a uh, one in twenty-five variant. It doesn't come up here and say anything. That it just says Deadpool variant. So I forget what, what's on the back. Anything good? No, it just says. Oh, it says Amazing Spider-Man Annual Twenty Two Homage Cover. Um, Mysterio Part 3, Smoke and Mirrors. That's right, Mysterio storyline was in here. So that's cool. We got the Deadpool movie. And this is goes part of my collection. So that's awesome. 9.6. Um, I want to say I've had this book for probably four years now or so. And I paid between 30 and 35. I don't really remember the exact. But this book is, uh, has, has gone up considerably. Um, you know, it, it's it varies a lot. Sometimes it sells as high as 125 raw. Sometimes it sells as low as you know 75. Not that that's low. That's that's pretty good. But I got a nice graded copy now, so 9.6 for my collection. And so let's see, we got one. We got two more books. And here's one. <laughs> wow, um, very cool. Supergirl and the Legion of Superheroes, um, graded at 9.8. See that? There you go, Archangel. There's your 9.8, baby. This is the Adam Hughes variant. I believe it's a 1 in 10 
variant. And if you guys remember my video a few months back when I found this, I paid a whopping three bucks for it. Now I have a 9.8, and I'm pretty, you know, I'm, I'm kind of shaking a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> this book sells easily ungraded 300 bucks. What does a graded 9.8 give me now? $500, $600 for a $3 investment on, oh shit, I almost dropped it all. It would have been a 9.2 after that. Unbelievable. Super crisp copy. What does it say? It's got nothing good on the back. Nothing at all except for a car ad. So CBCS 9.8 white pages. When did this come out? 2006 that came out. I paid three bucks for that goddamn thing. Wow. So there it is. Let's get up to 9.8 there. So I got 9.6 on Batman, 9.6. On the Spidey, 9.8 on that. And I got my last one, which, uh, believe it or not, I'm more excited for than that Supergirl. And, uh, again, this is something that I jumped the gun on. I should have sent it out to get pressed. I could have done a lot better with it. But I am so thrilled and happy to have this back. I've been missing it. I always like to look at it, and you, know, you guys know what it is right here, right there. So this is Amazing Spider-Man, number 129. Whoa! Oh, wow, we almost had destruction. So <laughs> it's a 5.0 right now, and uh, it almost came back at a 3.5 after that. But um, this is, uh, as you guys know, this is the first appearance of Frank Castle as the Punisher. Came back great as a 5.0. Now, I thought it would. If you go back and you look at the video that I did, I thought it would come out somewhere between, you know, a 3 and a 6. And I was hoping for a 5. I bet you it would come back easily at a 6 or at least a 5.5 five if I would just get it, you know, pressed. If I didn't get, you know, if I would just thought about it, you know, instead of, you know, rushing. Uh, what's it say on the back? It says story title, Punisher Strikes Twice. It's got nothing else on the back. You know, it's got some little stuff going on here. It could use a cleaning. Uh, it definitely has some pressable defects. You know, this these spine ticks over here, there's not that many. There's a little pulling on the on the staple. But wow, unbelievable. 5.0, amazing Spider-Man 129 unbelievably super happy with this this came out in february 1974 so this is uh not bad for what is that 41 years old unbelievable wow so 5.0 unbelievable my overall experience with cbcs was uh was good um, the wait time was ridiculous. I, you know, three months, and um, I, I feel I'll use them again. I want to try the PGX stuff that uh, you know Chris from We Love Comics has done. Big E's has done. Uh, Archangel has, has used them as well. Because it just seems like the turnaround time is just you know four weeks or or so. And I think that's that is right on par. But um, you know, when you go to a con, you got to use the guys that are there. And this one happened to be CBCS. So I'll continue to use CBCS, and it'll probably be only for, you know, if I go there to get an autograph of a, an artist or a writer, or get a sketch, you know, done. And I'll probably use them for that. And I'm gonna give, you know, I got a, another stack that I'm ready to go and get graded because I think I caught the bug. I think I caught the graded bug, and. Uh, um, I'm really happy for my first time. So 5.0, 129, a 9 friggin' 8 on Supergirl number 23. So that's a good turnaround. I'm really happy. So that's it, guys. That's my C. Oh, no, no, even the best of all. I got this in the box, too, man. What's it say right there? Um, CBCS certificate of credit. I have a $5.75 credit. So. Yeehaw, I'll have to use them <laughs> just to get that, just just for that. So, fantastic. I'm super happy. And uh, 
you know, if you guys are thinking about using CBCS, go for it. I mean, the cases are incredible. The, the, the bag, you don't even have to take them out of the bag. You know, when you watch Chris's videos and he gets his CP, he gets his CGCs and he takes them out of the bag, they got that filmy, you know, whatever. So I can just leave these in the bag and I can display them, do whatever I want with. I'm happy with that. Every book comes um, with some of this stuff in between each one. So perfect. Comes in a nice box. You can just, you know, store them in. Super happy. So that's it, guys. That's my video for uh, for right now. I'm going to come back with you with another one in a minute. And, uh, and that's it. All right. Later.